David with DFW Gun Cleaning here. Got some exciting pieces in today for the KP15 project. But first, I want to go over the difference in the KE Arm safety selector versus a mil spec unit. Awesome news. Really excited to get in some parts to get this build finished out. Uh, once again, I was waiting on that KE Arm safety selector as well as the extended hammer pin. Extended hammer pin. Nothing to see there. Looks just like a regular hammer pin, only a little bit longer. This is the KE Arm Safety Selector. Here I have a standard mil spec unit. There is almost zero difference in these two, except for the little shelf that has been uh, filed, maybe machined, off of there. But they probably just took a dribble tool, something I could have done at home. I know some of you mentioned in the comments that it is an easy modification. However, and I was expecting a little bit more, I think, from KE Arms. I, you know, I really thought that they would have done this prior to finishing the part. But I'm sure they're just buying these parts, you know, in bulk and making the modification themselves. I've got the KE on your left. And then the standard mill spec unit on your right. This is the KE arm selector. As you can see, there's a little just shelf machined off of there. That's to allow you to remove it over the top of the detent. Standard mill spec unit without that shelf machined on there. So uh, for those of you who are in the same situation I was, I would recommend just buy a mill spec unit, take a Dremel to it. It'll take you five seconds to make this same modification. So you will get the exact same result. Uh, this is not, you know, finished over after the modification. It is what it is. I'll go ahead and get this bad boy put together and give you some thoughts on it. Those of you that were asking uh, regarding the KE Arm Safety Selector installation, I did go ahead and preload the detent spring as well as the detent. You can see that detent poking out right there. So I'm going to go ahead and load the selector in. Just use a punch to depress the detent. Roll that safety right over the top. And that is stiff. Alright, that works a lot better. Get the rest of these lower parts installed. I'm back with the completed KP-15 from KE Arms. This one is sporting the Rock River Arms Mountain Upper with the 6 hour Romeo 5 red dot scope. Very, very lightweight. All in, including the optic. At six pounds, one and a half ounces. So just over the uh, target weight of six pounds. Not bad. We can't wait to get this thing out to the range. For those of you that uh, stuck around for a little while, uh, you, you've seen on the videos, I was waiting for quite a while on this safety to come in from KE Arms. I did happen to keep looking at Brownells. Had another package arrived today. Kids will have a lot of fun with these. And inside. We have one completely assembled KD Arms KP15 lower. Funnily enough, it came in on the exact same day as the lower parts kit. This one is ready to go. For this one, I will be using uh, 
a lot of more lightweight components. This is going to be a little bit longer term project for me. Also coming in today, I have a KE Arms slick side upper. If anyone has a lead on some Faxon barrels, I'm looking for the Faxon 16 inch barrel. Completely sold out absolutely everywhere. If you have an extra one laying around, let me know down below. I'll be happy to take that off your hands. There you have it. Number two. Guys, don't forget to like comment down below. Let me know what you would like to see. If you have an idea for parts for this build, I am going to be going with the carbon fiber on this one, carbon fiber handguard, the pencil weight barrel, and, and I'm probably going to actually put the Romeo 5 onto this one, looking at the uh, new Vortex Spitfire 3X to possibly put on this. Let me know what you think down below. Subscribe, and we'll see you next time.